Hi, my name is Conrad Kabali. I'm a clinical epidemiologist at Health College Ontario and an adjunct faculty at the University of Toronto. This paper discusses the importance of transportability in network meta-analysis. Just a bit of a background, uh, in comparative effectiveness research, one of the main interests is to identify the most effective treatment among several candidates in a specific group of patients. But more often we find ourselves in a situation where some of the treatments haven't been compared head to head and even when compared we lack sufficient number of studies to come up with a firm conclusion. Network meta-analysis was uh, introduced to solve this problem and we can simply define it as an extension of the conventional pairwise meta-analysis to include treatments that haven't been compared uh, head to head. This is a great uh, idea, but uh, there's a limitation in, in, in that uh, for a given treatment, the method assumes that uh, the distribution of treatment response is uh, similar across trials, an assumption which is um, unrealistic in many settings. For example, in infectious disease uh, trials, uh, there could be a proportion of patients with uh, resistant strains to the drugs under investigation and uh, the size of this population of this proportion can vary across trials. Similarly, in cancer trials, uh, we can have a mixture of patients at uh, early and uh, late stages of uh, disease, and the composition of this mixture can vary across uh, trials. To address uh, this problem, it was recently suggested to make more efforts to identify as many covariates as possible that can explain these differences and uh, do simple adjustments like including this covariate in a meta regression model. This seems to solve part of the problem, but uh, not entirely, in the sense that uh, if all the factors that explain these differences are pre treatment covariates, uh, the method will work just fine. But if some of the factors are post treatment covariates, the method might fail to work or even increase uh, bias in certain situations. So, to overcome this limitation, we propose the transportability approach which in the context of this paper, we can define it as a method of transferring causal information from one trial to another trial with potentially different characteristics. As you will see in the paper, all the conventional methods for network meta-analysis can be viewed as a special case of uh, transportability. We hope you enjoy the paper. Thank you.